Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Jen Sorensen and we are here to kick off the Disney Dudes series for the month of February. I wanted something that was going to be fun, exciting, and different. And as you know, I've talked about this before, or maybe you don't know, every other month I'm going to do a Disney inspired soap for the year 2021. February, I decided I've already done the princesses and I didn't necessarily want to do all the princes because I wanted to branch out a little bit. And that's when I thought, let's do some of the men, the guys, let's just call them the Disney dudes. First up this month is one of my favorites, sarcastic. Well, we've already done Hades, so we know that's not gonna be it. But I love his, you know, a little bit of a narcissist. Maybe that's not what I love about him because I'm not a big fan of narcissists in general, but I love his just spunk and persona. You, I mean, you know it by the title because I've already put it in there. We've got Eugene Fitzherbert, AKA Flynn Rider. So why don't we jump in, see how I make this soap, and then I will bring you back here, show you the finished product, how it's cured over time, and let, I'll show you how it looks with the Rapunzel soap that I made earlier in the year. So let's jump in right now and see how we make Flynn Rider. Let us jump right into our first Disney dude is maybe that's what we'll call it. The Disney dude series. I've been, uh, trying to decide Disney men. I like Disney dudes. Let's go with that. I've got my oils and kaolin clay in here. Let's mix up our lye water solution with it to get this to saponification. Well, emulsion, this saponification happens overnight. <laughs> up off the bottom. All right, that is not separating. That's looking good. So for this, we are going to do some dividing and conquering here. And I'm gonna do my top. This fragrance oil is going to accelerate a little bit and I'm using titanium dioxide. So odds are this top is going to become an in the pot swirl which I am totally fine with. I think will actually be fitting of this. So these two are gonna go off to the side, given that. And we are going to grab our spatula and scrape down the side here because we want all of this color incorporated. And actually, yeah, I'm gonna take this out and put it in the one that's gonna have some titanium dioxide for now. Cause I don't know if we're going to need to incorporate our fragrance oil. First, we need, we're, here it is. I put it on the wrong side. We're gonna do a little bit of gingerbread brown on the bottom here. Grab a little popsicle stick. I always wanna call these toothpicks and I know it's not a toothpick. We're gonna do a little brown for one of my favorite dudes, Disney dudes, Flynn Rider for his bottom. We'll add that in, and I'm just gonna kind of lightly swirl this in by hand for a minute here. Again, because this accelerates, although we do want the bottom to set up a bit, but we don't want things to get so crazy that we're not gonna get a flat top, for example. So we're gonna incorporate this. We're definitely gonna need to blend it up a little bit. Okay. And I can still see some micas here and there. So yeah, we're just starting the process. Now, for Mr. Flynn Rider, one of my favorites, and by the way, if you have not started to watch the animated series for Rapunzel, you need to do it because, oh my gosh, it's awesome. I love that animated series. I'm going to go with Stud because, I mean, come on. Flynn Rider thinks he's a stud, so this just seemed fitting. All right, we are going to pour in our half of our fragrance oil here. This smells like a mint cologne. I'm, it's really what it smells like. You know, it's not quite Old Spice because I do have a scent for that that's a dupe 
of Old Spice that I'm gonna incorporate at some point soon. Um, but it definitely has that men's cologne scent. I'm not seeing the acceleration really. So let me take my stick blender out of this, put that down and let's give this a little bit of pulse so that we can get our bottom firmed up a little bit. All right, that's looking pretty good. That should firm up nicely as we keep moving with this. So let's tap that down. And I am going, eh, you know what, I'm going to put this right into my top color because I may need that for my top. Let's get our Brambleberry mold here and we will pour this into the bottom. Yeah, there we go. We're thickening up. Mmm. Yeah, this definitely smells like a men's cologne. So ladies, if you want to get your man something for uh, Valentine's Day, this could be a good one. Or, um, you know, if, if he needs new soap, this is a good one for him. Or if you like the smell of men's cologne. Gentlemen, this is a good one for you. If you don't want something fruity or floral, definitely good to uh, have something a little masculine for you. I don't know, I don't discriminate here. Whatever floats your boat. Shimmy this, and now I'm gonna use my microfiber here and wipe off the side a little bit. Let's get that. And then we are gonna start working on top. Let's push that off to the side. Top here. Top and drip. So for the swirl, we're gonna do a little bit of titanium dioxide because this kind of turns a little bit of a beige. And then for the top, I mean, come on, it's Flynn Rider. We need my favorite color of all time, a teal. So I've got some Mad Micah's Peacock here, and I'm actually okay if a little bit of the brown gets in here so it kind of muddies the teal just a little bit. I wouldn't be mad at that because it would be more, more in line with what I'm, I think about with Flynn. Let's add our fragrance oil to this. I'm gonna wait to add it to my titanium dioxide for a second. Let's push that in. We'll start by swirling this by hand. All right, that is a lovely, lovely color. And that's gonna complement that brown so nicely. I'll show you the brown, the teal. It just works so well. There we go. All right, let's pulse this up a little bit. <laughs> Okay, that is looking very nice. And finally, and let me get a little scraper here to get some of this off. So that when we go into the white, we're not getting too much teal. Okay, we'll do that. And I'm also gonna use my microfiber cloth here to wipe this off just a little bit. I'm not that worried about whatever is left in there. Okay, because then I can just let this saponify for a couple days and then we can put that in the washing machine. That'll be the only soap that I add to it, but that's a deal. Okay, let me pulse this one up. <coughs> I just saw that got a little bit whiter. <coughs> which you really need to do with the titanium dioxide. I don't know what it is about Flynn. He's so cocky and so arrogant, yet I love him all the same. I do, I just love Flynn Rider. Um, I'm just gonna go use this one here. Stir this up, how are we doing here? Yeah, that's firming up. So, as I said, this is just getting, this is gonna be too, much to do a drop swirl, so we're doing in the pot. 
and I kind of brought this up high. I'm gonna leave this here for the top. Bring this over, I kind of went up high to make sure that the white penetrated all the way through. And now I'm going to use my spatula here to break the fall a little bit. Although I do think this is pretty well incorporated. Yeah, this was the right call. And I'm gonna tell you this purple and the browns are gonna look really nice, not purple, the teal and the brown is gonna look really nice against Rapunzel's purple. If you wanna do a gift set, like a his and her gift set, couples, that would be really nice. Yeah, that would fit in really well. Cause I love these colors. Teal, as I said, favorite color. Absolutely love it so, so much. All right, we are getting as much as we can out of that. And now, let's put that in there. Just give it a little shimmy, 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 shimmy. Grab a little bit of our white because we're gonna just kind of do a few stripes here and we'll do a swirl on top. There we go. So as I get into the Disney Dude series, I need to know if you have a favorite Disney dude you're hoping to see. Now, by the time this goes up, I will have all of them filmed and made and ready to, not necessarily ready to go, but they will all be filmed. So I may not necessarily get to it this time, but spoiler, when I asked you what I wanted to see from Pixar, there was one that I had not made that I thought would fit into this series. So we're gonna have a Pixar dude in here. I don't know if you can guess which one, but I might incorporate some of them into my other series is what I'm saying. Just saying, cause there's always a way to incorporate them because I've got a few more fun themes I'm thinking about moving forward. All right, and then I'm just gonna use the opposite end of my popsicle stick that I used to scoop and we're just going to do my overlapping figure eight. So I'm basically doing eights and kind of slightly overlapping to get this swirl effect. This leaves it with such a nice texture on top. I love how that looks on top with like the little bit of gap here and there, but it just looks so nice. Okay, done. There we go. I don't know if we're gonna have any glitter, maybe, Maybe for, if I do a prince, just saying, that might have a little glitter to represent a crown or something, but let me spritz with some rubbing alcohol and we will cut into this and see how that in the pot swirl looks very soon. Look at these colors. I am super happy with how they turned out. Maybe I'll make the teal a little more greeny next time. But let's cut into it. Let me line things up and see how that in the pot swirl turned out. Woo! Well, there's the end. And that looks absolutely fantastic. I really like that. Let's kind of check in the middle here. Mm, yeah, this looks wonderful. Really happy with these. It does, it smells like a really nice men's cologne. Like just really, really nice. Okay. I'll be really interested to see how the scent cures and if um, it's gonna stay really nice like this. So stick around and we will review and see how the scent turned out. You know, having worked with these colors before, they should stay the same, but you never know with the scent. So, oh, the end looks kind of cool with that little swirl. All right, I will cut this last piece here and then we will check in with each other very soon to see the finished product in all its glory. I love that sound. Final one. All right, what do we think? 
I think next time I might make the teal a little bit more greenish instead of more blue of what it is. But overall, like this brown, that's kind of a really good representation of the color. Looks really nice. I like the teal. It smells like a nice, very soft men's soap, cologne, kind of deodorant, something like that. It definitely has that masculine scent. It just smells really nice. I think you, you will like it. And I promise I was going to show you how it looks next to Rapunzel. So here is the Rapunzel soap, and I'm kind of angling it down with the, the light and everything. And you can see how they just kind of complement each other. I think the teal works really well with the purple and the brown. I just think it looks really nice together, and I'm happy with it. This is sweet pea scented, so I think you got a very much more feminine, a little bit more masculine, and then they complement each other. So that's really cool. I like that. And this was a fun first dive into the Disney dudes. I can't wait to see what the next one looks like. I, I'm trying to decide which one I want to do next because they're all kind of fun and exciting. Um, let me know down below if you have a favorite Disney dude you are hoping for me to make this month. Spoiler, by the time you see this, they all will have been made. But that may, again, influence some of the soaps that I make in the future. Until next time, guys, I hope you get out there, create something absolutely beautiful. Have a fantastic day. I will see you real soon.